Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Sam Banana, 97. Thanks for the suggestion, Sam. You asked, why do cars have a shark fin on the roof? Once you notice it, you start seeing it on every modern car. That little fin poking out like your Toyota Corolla is trying to cosplay as a great white. But it's not just decoration, and it's definitely not helping your car swim faster through puddles. So, buckle up as we explore the truth behind the mysterious shark fin, right here on Explaining Everything. Picture this, it's the 1990s. Cars had these long, awkward, whip-style antennas sticking out like giant insect feelers. If you ever washed your parents' car, you probably bent one by accident and got yelled at. They were flimsy, they wobbled in the wind, and they looked like your car was trying to pick up alien transmissions from Mars. Enter the shark fin. Automakers wanted something sleeker, sturdier, and, let's be honest, less embarrassing. In 2001, BMW debuted the first shark fin antenna on one of their models. Suddenly, instead of a flimsy stick, there was this smooth, aerodynamic little fin. It looked futuristic. It looked cool. It looked like your car had watched Jaws too many times. And it wasn't just style. It was science. The shark fin design was aerodynamic, meaning less drag at high speeds. Not that shaving 0.0001% off your drag coefficient was going to turn your minivan into a Formula One car, but hey, engineers love that stuff. Okay, so what does the shark fin actually do? Spoiler alert, it's not secretly housing a baby shark. Inside that little plastic fin is a set of antennas. Yes, plural. Instead of one big antenna sticking up, car manufacturers figured out how to cram multiple tiny ones into the shark fin's compact shell. Here's what they handle. Your car's radio signals, FM and AM, GPS navigation, satellite radio, and sometimes even cellular connectivity. It's basically a little communication hub sitting on your roof, quietly making sure you can yell, play Nickelback at your Bluetooth system without losing signal. Think of it as your car's Wi-Fi router, but instead of helping you stream Netflix in your pajamas, it helps you stream questionable road trip playlists while stuck in traffic. Without that fin, your navigation might get lost, your radio might sound fuzzy, and your car would look just a little bit more naked. Now here's the fun part. Why did engineers choose the shark fin design specifically? They could have made it a cube, a dome, even a little plastic duck. But no, shark fin. The shape actually helps reduce wind noise and improves aerodynamics. A big boxy antenna would whistle like a flute every time you drove down the highway, and nobody wants their car to double as a bad marching band instrument. The shark fin, with its sleek tapering profile, slices through the air without fuss. But there's another reason. Branding. Automakers realized people liked the look. A shark fin makes a car look sporty and modern, even if it's just a beige sedan whose only adventure is the morning commute. It says, hey, this car has tech. It's not stuck in the dial-up era. Basically, it's a fashion statement that also happens to stop your radio from cutting out every time you drive under a bridge. And let's be honest, it's just cooler to say, my car has a shark fin, than my car has a stubby plastic box on top. Marketing departments ate that up. 
If you look at most cars from the mid-2000s onward, especially sedans, SUVs, and crossovers, you'll spot the fin. Some pickup trucks and sports cars still sneak in other designs, but the shark fin has become the go-to. And because car companies are always trying to one-up each other, newer shark fins sometimes hide even more antennas for things like advanced driver assistance, emergency call systems, and even 5G connectivity. Your car is slowly turning into a giant smartphone on wheels, and the shark fin is the antenna bar at the top of the screen. The funniest part? Some people buy aftermarket shark fins purely for looks. They're basically fake shark fin hats for cars. No wires inside, no function at all. Just glued on to make your ride look less like a 2003 potato. Imagine putting a Bluetooth speaker case on your roof just for fashion. That's the level we're talking about. The shark fin gave us a sleek, sturdy, and aerodynamic solution that could house multiple antennas in one stylish package. At the end of the day, the shark fin is a perfect example of engineers solving a practical problem while designers sneak in a little flair. It's function wrapped in fashion. Next time you see one on the highway, just remember, it's not helping the car swim faster, but it is keeping the tunes alive and the GPS on track. And hey, if your car doesn't have one, don't worry, it's not less of a car. It just hasn't joined the Shark Club yet. If you now know the real purpose of those fins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and until then, drive safe and keep your antennas sleek. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.